are winding ones with 16 different starting points, but the end destination is the same. Strap yourselves in for the best ride in sports. It's the Stanley Cup playoffs. Dumps it down the middle, Stan Lekin and fired it on that. Hell of a to stop. Pionk has got it. And Pionk snaps it across. Polardi tried to sell it down, couldn't get to it. A break for Nachushkin. Nachushkin shooting, scores! Valerie Nachushkin with the opening goal of the series for Colorado. The NHL Players Assistance Program. He's come back and he is a big guy to have in your lineup. He's a big man that moves extremely well. And the transition game looks really good right here in the first period for the Avalanche. Remember, these two coaches agree on one thing, okay? They respect each other's teams and they believe those three games. Malardi trying to knock it away. Shifley has got it. Shifley rolled it to the point for Dylan. Dylan hands it off to Kyle Connor. Connor drops it to Morrissey. Shooting stars! lights the lamp, the whiteout's going, and it's 1-1. Morrissey and how's hockey IQ so strong. He moves along this blue line so well. Connor waits till the last moment that he leaves it for him. And that's the car. We'll find it. Put it right into the feet of Ian Fowler, and now he's able to dump it in. Georgia blocks it. Moves it into the corner. Tops it to the back to the front. Scores! of your opponent. The puck gets thrown to the corner, the Jets are all over it, the puck goes off the stick on the four-checking player, and where does it go? Right into the slot to the stick of the Mestikoff, who doesn't dust it off, he rips it into the same spot that Morrissey did. Nikushkin has to go inside the crossbar and in to beat him. That's what it takes to beat a guy like Hellebuck. Sandberg loops it in, put it off the stick of Polkin. In fact, Kimi Ronto, they score! Miles Wood bangs it home, and the Avalanche have tied it at two. For the coach, you have the puck on your stick, and you go to throw it out, and you turn it over, and you turn it over right in a very delicate spot. And Kimi Ranta does a nice job of getting his stick on it, and then it gets over to Wood. There's a lot of game left here. This isn't a roller coaster ride. It's trying to stay as even keel as you can. Get back to your game as quickly as possible. Don't worry about it. You can't get it back now. Miles Wood hadn't scored in the last 25 games as McKinnon scores! Nathan McKinnon with his first goal of the series puts it through the pads of Connor Hellebuck. And just like that, the Avalanche get their lead back. The team of the National Hockey League this year, and if you're not careful, this is what could happen as the Winnipeg Jets have spent a lot of time in their zone in this first period. They started playing better in the last. Shifley hands it off as Kyle Connor. Tries to break free. Played it for Neil Pion. Dumps it off into the corner. Middle stack for his injury. Connor on him. Polardi up on the puck in front. They score! Mark Shifley ties it. Here in Winnipeg, it's going to be a big test for them. Connor in on the fourth check. Polardi. Second, so close to the four check that he's able to join him and pick up this loose puck that Connor creates. And then Manson falls asleep in front on Shifley. He's wide open. And what a nice play by Velarde throwing this over. Ranson in, steps in for the draw against Lowry. And Ranson in one of McKinnon back to the point. Taves over to McCarr, trying to get it through. Dylan was there to the point and out. And now they go against Lowry. He's got off the two of them. Lowry shooting. Scores! Well, the shot breaks the stick of Niederreiter. And as he goes to turn around, he steps on it. And when he does, he gets in the way of a car inadvertently. It's almost like a pick that he didn't mean to do, and that sets off the captain, Adam Lowry, who walks in and realizes
realizes that Taze has done a pretty good job in blocking the lane. Makar is giving it to the referee now. He doesn't like it, but Lowry. Here comes Appleton over to Nino Ryder out of his reach. They play it back in the net. Lowry will track it down. Adam Lowry gets all tangled up there with Reds. And now it's a foot for Lowry to the net. Waiting scores! Or did he know? They're saying it didn't go in. It's waved off. Hunt cleared down the ice. Lowry starts over on the boards. And as he walks in, he lowers, it, lowers this in. And I think it goes post, post, and then back over the line. Oh, ho, ho. After reviewing the play at 16-29, the puck completely crossed the goal line. Shifley and Morrissey with a shot. That one missed. Kyle Connor. Back to the net, Filardi for Shifley to Morrissey for Connor scores! The power play looks really good. There's the one off the post on the side by Monaghan, and the power play just keeps moving the puck. And the puck movement is faster than the penalty killers can go. And eventually, Morrissey lays it into the wheelhouse of Connor. And for Georgiev, it's Hushkin after another corner. Back to the point for McCarr. McCarr hands it out. McKinnon gave it back for McCarr. He'll shoot, scores! It's Hushkin causing traffic in front with Halibut. But it's Arturi Lekkinen that tips the shot in. And the Avalanche get a power play goal to McCarr and just snaps this thing quickly and then you'll see right there Lekkinen gets a stick on it now is Nikushkin in Hellebuck's way and is Rick Bonus at this juncture going to challenge this because there's no doubt that he's standing right on top of Hellebuck Hellebuck believes he can't make the save but it's going to be up to Rick Bonus whether to make that call or not the consequences are huge if you're wrong as Nikushkin, is he operating above the blue paint? Johnson, top of the puck, he'll get it to center. I could have knocked it down, would have been a high stick. Dylan up with it. Brendan Dillon clears it up. And now Kyle Connor with a hot shot that sails over the net. Shifley, on it back down in front. Connor scores! Kyle Connor, second of the night. Seven for Winnipeg. in the third period that this one was what was going to happen here. Again, it's the forecheck of the Winnipeg Jets and the inability of the Avalanche to retrieve a puck and do something good with it. They all seem to be a step behind. And where they have bodies, you see Manson, he's right there. The down low high forward is back. Lekkinen's right there. you got two guys right there. Played it off for Lekkinen. Back to McKinnon. I have follow watching Nathan McKinnon. Nachushkin out front, Ranson trying to center, bouncing puck. McKinnon can't get to it. Diving with Pionk. He'll only get it to the point. McCarr scores! Kale McCarr with a shot off the post and in a power play goal. And the Avalanche are back within two. Tip, this is almost a, a replica of the other one. He walks to the middle and then eventually it's that snapshot, that quick snapshot he lets go. And he's got the same cast of characters who are in the front of the net. You got Lekkinen sitting right there. He deflected the last one. But this one cruises right through, and you can see how high follow stick breaks. Halibut out of the net, sets it up. Peon fired it around the board, stopped by Rantanen. Lekkinen has got it, shoots. Stop by Halibut, rebound, scores! It bounced in. I'm not sure if middle stab was the last to touch it, but with 27.1 seconds to go, it's a one-goal game. And getting back at it, coming around, Pionk tries to rip this out of the zone, but he doesn't get enough on it. And then Middlestadt gets to the front of the net as this thing bangs around like, like a pinball machine. It's going to eventually find its way off the stick of Lekkinen, off the stick of Middlestadt, and then it finds its way over the top and into the back of the net. What a crazy goal. I still have a look at this for sure to make sure it wasn't off a hand or anything. But look at it, even off the mallet of Hellebuck. Hellebuck stopped it back in the back. around the glass and out. They can breathe easy now. 